somewhere in between that time period, this idea of, of we feel threatened by uh, Ralph or, or Cindy or both uh, became a big issue. And instead of coming to talk to me and try to figure out the details, it became there's an issue with safety at this space. Uh, what's the date today? The 23rd of August? About 4.20 in the afternoon? You're still, but just, I have to just, just, have to just so we're hurry. on the record, both of us recorded on the record that I am talking, I am speaking as an individual who has been accused of racism. Okay. I am not. Wait, hold on. Ali, Ali, you, you can't do the missed facts now. <clears throat> who told you that I accused you of racism? You insinuated that I am no, involved no, no, no. in. Ali, no, let me let me is, talk. Is, let this, me talk. Well, if you're going to talk to me like that, first please, of all, because now you're pointing at me, and I'm feeling a little threatened right now. So, number one, you're on work time. Go well, hold on. You're raising your voice. You're pointing at me, and you're on work time. So let's be very clear. But you just I, said it's okay for me no, to talk as I, an individual exactly, but on if you want to talk to me as an individual, I, talk I would, to me in an appropriate tone, and don't point at me like that because I'm starting to feel a little well, then, physically okay. threatened. That's, yeah, so uh, then what you mean. that's their, uh, what they said. Meaning if, meaning if somebody says from staff that they feel threatened by me, and my physical presence and my safety yeah, is at risk because potentially if I say hello to somebody, well, hey, how you again, doing? I, I would stand like, back and say <laughs> my staff member says that that's not how she represented. Well, you're getting far off. I know. My question is still not answered. What was it that he wanted done that you felt couldn't be done? It doesn't seem to be that there's a way that we can reconcile that because uh, what I understand to have been the discussion, three, four, two days of events, uh, we 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 never came to it as a conclusion because it, the discussion became about why is this not a safe place? Why are we discriminating? And and then there was and then we had to bring in Anita to discuss this. And that whole meeting was about this topic. It was never about what's the details. Oh, it didn't become about the details until the end uh, of what the event is going to be. Um, by that time, by the time we finally met, it was, and then the board meeting happened, we were three weeks away from the well, event. See, we had lost my, two staff members. My, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt you. I said I want to be casual, right? Yeah. You're still staying professional. Yeah. I'm asking you point blank, what was it that he wanted done that MTN couldn't do? Was it a matter of staff? Because I had a word with all to get enough volunteers to help with this, that know what they're doing if that's a problem, all right? I'm here because of that, all right? Because we're having all this, all this back and forth, and all these things coming out like this, all right? Mm -hmm. To me, right, that's all they are. Because we can't leave out of the room smiling at each other. We can't take nothing back. I'm just saying for future reference, right? The members are MTN. When you say you're doing an MTN something, 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 all right, that's for MTN employees and stuff like this. From the public side, it looks like, well, you got your own business, and MTN is just for these people. And that will, you can do what you want to do. That's what it looks like to a public person, all right? And I'm not saying wrong or right or whatever. You do what you want to do, all right? But my question is very simple and very direct. What was it that couldn't be done to prevent him from getting his idea across. What was that? Because I'm here to volunteer. I ain't moving, right? You can treat me any way you want to treat me around here. I do not care, right? I'm about what MTM really stands for, and that's the community, the public, it's public access, right? You people gonna come and go. Public gonna stay public, right? So. I'm not being professional, I'm just, I'm just being a casual person because the members approach everything from a casual manner. They're presenting their stuff, their truth, or whatever they present to put on the channel. That's everybody's reality, right? And they're not being professional. It's a very casual environment. 
We were prepared to do a one-day event, and that's what we always offered. Okay, so what did you need to do then? Uh, we were prepared to do a one-day event. But what did you need to make that happen? Staff well, we needed, what did, we what needed an agreement with the, the producer, the participant, to do that one-day event. But what did you need to make that happen technically? All right, we have an we, award meeting. What do you need in here to make the board meeting? You need to bring a table in. You need to set up the chairs. You need to have a light. Those are the kind of details I need to know, all right? That's what I'm looking for. Because if we're really going to help somebody with an event, it starts with that. Right? I ain't hearing that. No iota. I'm hearing everything that's wrong, everything that ain't right. I'm hearing stuff on paper. I'm hearing all this. Y'all can keep that. But for the members, everything's casual. We're not professionals. So speak to the members. I'm a member. I'm one person that represents thousands of people. What was it that you couldn't do to let this man have his event? Was it a staffing thing? Was it a technical thing? What was it? What was it? He didn't want to do the one day event. That is so factually wrong. I'm, you know what? This is I'm professional and I'm a member. Okay, so that's me. I'm professional. That's why I document my experiences, not only as a member on MTN, but I document my experiences when I find out that there's a really unhealthy environment that's causing some real racial discrimination just blatant. That is categorically incorrect, factually wrong. And I don't appreciate being represented like that. And I believe this is the same thing, Ms. Anita, when we were in Mike's meeting. Mike in the meeting said I called him a racist. Did I say that? Absolutely not. No, you didn't. Did everybody hear that in the meeting? I said I Absolutely. felt like it was being applied. So, to so no, you didn't say that, Mike. You said that I called you a racist. And this is what I'm talking about. I document my experiences. That's why this tape recorder is on. And if people want to go into legalese, we can get into that. We came in a good faith effort, just like Keith said. We take this seriously. This is public access. This means a lot to our community, obviously, because we're here. We don't own CBS. We don't own NBC. We don't own MSNBC. We don't own hardly any television network. That's why public access is critical in our community, period. So the board, this is on your shoulders. You provide oversight to the executive director. I'm clear on that. I, I'm just asking Can that. Can I ask a question? Well, I'm not done. Yeah. I'm just asking that the board does its due diligence because we will support everything that we say with documentation. It won't be hearsay, oh, I heard this through somebody else and they said this. No, this will be factual documentation on paper that's been in electronic correspondence because that's the way we correspond when things get a little bit funky. So it's not going to be, oh, Ralph said that or Ralph said this. No, this is going to be exactly what it is. That's why these flyers from two Friday events are right here. One Friday on the top, another Friday right beneath it. The, the, the top one was a Thursday. It was a Friday. It so, says Friday on, it says on Friday. So I, um, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Katie has a question. Yeah, no, not a question, a comment really. Okay. Um, and I made this comment at the last board meeting that I feel like the policy from my perspective as a board member about public events um, leaves itself open to unequal application because events are accepted or not accepted at the discretion of MTM. I made that comment at the last meeting and I would like to make it again here, but I feel like the policy is not a good policy because it has too much space for personal opinion in how events get branded public or not public. So that's the first comment I'd like to make. Second comment is that it's 730. I think this has been a really powerful time. I don't want to cut off anybody, but I would like to move that the board accept Ralph's um, letter and report um, and that the board uh, take some further action with regards to the volunteer committee that's been set up. Um, we can talk about what that is, but I feel like that is um, a really interesting idea and, um, and these suggestions are interesting and I'd like to have some more 
um, discussion and commentary about the suggestions that have been made here. Um, we have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? A second motion. Okay, we have a second. Discussion. Uh, yeah, make a comment about, um, I understand your, your comment about the policy, but the policy is not part of public access. The policy is part, as, as Nancy pointed out at the last meeting, it's a part of, it's a, it's a part of internal marketing, and it's, it's prescribed by the city's contract with us, and it's, it's directed to us to promote our channels. Um, maybe there needs to be uh, some wording nuanced, maybe it needs to be clarified. Um, access is different from everything that the, the organization does. And members have, get access. Um, Ralph is, is one of our leading access uh, users. Um, in the last nine months, he spent 500 hours in our space. Um, but he wants to have an event, and this is a marketing initiative. He can have an event without without us uh, being involved. He can do it in, in, as part of access. Mr. Callum, I'm going to um, stop you here because the question should be, the comment should be towards the motion. Well, the, uh, I, the acceptance of, and, okay. Um, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to call it. I'd, like I'd like to restate my comment because with all due respect, I think that, and I understand what you're saying, Michael, but any time there's an opportunity for an individual or an organization to decide without very clear neutral parameters who gets to do something and who doesn't. And it's not about the definition of access. It's not about who gets to be in the studio. It's about there, there is an option for somebody to do something, and that option is not neutrally applied to anybody who's interested in it. That's the problem with the policy. And, and it's not about, I mean, I understand what you're saying about access. My comment is not about access. It's not about, I mean, it is about the mission of the organization, but in a really broad, objective sense. That any time we have an opportunity to make a decision about who gets to do something and who doesn't, we don't apply policies in a very neutral manner. We leave ourselves open to, even if it's unintentional, apply those policies in ways that harm individuals. And this is a policy that I think has demonstrably harmed communities. Thank you, Vice Chair. Any other discussion? Do we understand the motion on the table? Would you restate your motion, please? When would we have discussions specifically about the uh, committee being formed for the members of the etc.? Any response? Well, we can talk about that. Um, we usually, at the end of our agenda, we have old business and new business. Anybody, any board member can bring that up as new business. Any other discussion? I'll just add maybe that it's something that we all, in, in the past month, we as a board have taken very seriously and, and especially I think after hearing your comments, take it even more seriously. I think it's great to hear from each one of you to hear this um, and in person too. So um, uh, don't look at this as being a closed closed matter now. Um, and, and again, t and I maybe state too that we're not acting as a jury here or any kind of legal standpoint. We're here to listen and, and drive the vision of, of MTN too. I would like to add that I also take these accusations uh, and points that you bring up very seriously. Um, the problem I have and why I sound like I'm in constant conflict perhaps is because I also know deeply how, um, where we've come as an organization, what, what we've tried to sort out in terms of policy and also um, the continued problems we face financially, uh, we continue problems we face in the city and the city's directive towards us and the, and the steps we try to make towards uh, fulfilling the city's directive and to try to reestablish our status in the communities so that all members of this community, all, all the producing members of this community can be risen up uh, through a, by having a better organization. 
So I am, a, I am deeply <coughs> embedded in the financial, the organizational, the systemic problems that, that exist in this organization. And every day I try to solve those. And I have to, bat, I'm batting up against that with how we, what we provide to the public, what we provide to members, what we provide and do. And so if I sound like I'm stressed by these things, it's really that tension that is happening. Uh, and that's all I want to say. Okay, thank you. Um, so we have the motion on the table. Everybody understands the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion is passed. Do you have any more? Okay. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming and bringing these issues to the board. I appreciate that. I want to assure you that you are welcome anytime. This conversation is not over. It has just begun. And I appreciate that you brought everything that was within, within you to this meeting. I know it's, it's hard sometimes. It brings up a lot of emotions. This is an emotional issue. We cannot deny that. It's an issue that we, as, as community, community of MTN, have to work on to move forward as a community. So um, again, I appreciate you coming to the board and bringing your concerns. I appreciate the board's um, respect and listening to all the issues. Can I ask one last question? Is there a time period that we should expect a response to our particular proposal or request? You, you just went right in front of me. Oh. Um, I have your proposal in front of me. I, I appreciate that you read it. But I would like to read it so that I'm, I'm very clear. And if I have any questions for clarity, I know how to get in touch with you. Okay, great. But um, this is something we do have new business uh -huh. on our agenda. It can, it's a, it's a, like I said before, it's a, it's a work in progress. Thank so um, a time limit <laughs> for the response. We're not meeting in October. We won't meet again. September. September, I'm sorry. September, we won't meet again until October. So I can tell you it will be probably two months before you hear anything back. But um, Ralph, you know how to get in touch with me, so you can continue to communicate with me. Um, in fact, if anybody else wants to, <coughs> Ralph has my cell phone number and my email. Um, I put it on the list there, so you know, I'm happy to hear from you. Give me a call. If I don't answer your call right away and it goes to voicemail, please leave a message. Um, because if I don't know who it is that called me, I might not answer right away. But I will get back to you. And I will email you back if you, if you send me an email. Um, Quick question. Sure. You said something about a volunteer committee. What is that? It's part of the, uh, the proposal. Part of the proposal. Okay. Yeah. I'm about, are you guys going to establish a volunteer committee? Well, we do have on our agenda, you can see engagement, 2015 engagement committee. We've been struggling because we don't have a lot of board members. We're missing at least, what, three board members. And so this is the group that's working, and we're trying to do a strategic plan, which takes us forward and is also in line with an engagement committee. So what you were talking about before, volunteering and engaging community, um, that gives us an idea of how we can move forward with engagement committee. Remember, there's two sides. Mm -hmm. There's that, that right? If you guys can manage to balance the two. I know how very well how to walk a crooked line. <laughs> so I'm speaking to the choir. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cindy? Thanks. Cindy? Can you make sure I get electronic copies of everything that you have? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. If you could send them to every board member on the email or everybody on the email. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you, everyone. Nice meeting you, too. Freedom Radio. Freedom Radio. Radio. Radio.